Hi, uh, look at this view. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the blue in that sky. It's almost uh, has that winter blue color too. So wow, beautiful day. People on the beach. Uh, it's not a work day for them clearly, which is nice. Uh, but uh, if you're going in the water, the rip current risk is only at a moderate level. We do have a nice breeze coming in, but the surf, you can tell it's, it's pretty low. So about one to two feet out there right on the surf. Now it feels hot. We have more sunshine in the summertime. That definitely leads to hotter temperatures, but these are the feels like. So we're currently at 89 degrees in Miami and Miami you're already feeling like 100. So it feels much warmer than the actual temperature. In fact, Fort Lauderdale, feels like 102 right now, 100 in Marathon, and it feels like 97 in Key West. So these kind of feels like you definitely have to stay hydrated if you're going to be doing any outdoor activity throughout the afternoon. Now let's talk about the rain chance. Daytime heating could allow for an isolated shower thunderstorm, but mainly for the western cities. Uh, maybe by 2 o'clock, an isolated shower anywhere between Coral Springs and Weston. And then there's a possibility in miami Day, but I think for the most part, miami Day they'll stay over the Everglades. Now, Weston, there could be a heavy downpour later in the evening. Uh, so after some more daytime heating, that's typically when we have a better chance for a heavier downpour. But you notice the coverage is isolated. Then we go into tomorrow morning with some showers coming our way. And I think tomorrow afternoon, we'll get a better chance to see more showers and thunderstorms as we have a larger area of moisture to work with. And speaking of moisture, there's a lot of moisture entering the the panhandle, all thanks to Fred. I want to talk about the steering currents. There's Tropical Storm Fred, Tropical Depression Grace over Española, and then Tropical Depression Number 8, which is located just to the south and east of Bermuda. So that big high over the Atlantic, also known as the Bermuda High, is steering Fred into the southeast. But then we have this other high developing, moving over the southeast and the Gulf of Mexico. That's what's keeping Grace in that westerly uh, track. And so also keeping Grace well to the south of South Florida, but unfortunately today, Dominican Republic and Haiti dealing with grace. And even though grace is a tropical depression, it is going to bring down some heavy rainfall, five to 10 inches of rainfall in Haiti and Dominican Republic and up to even 15 inches. Back here at home, here's a look at the seven day. We're gonna see more storms Tuesday, drier weather on Thursday as an area of dry air comes our way. And then as we head into the weekend, more of a, you know, typical summertime weather pattern with the sea breeze developing.